hi guys welcome or welcome back so today i had kind of a shitty day in practice so i was like let me share let me like talk about it all right so let me explain so today was my first day back after catching the big sickie this is my second time catching a sickie in the past three weeks like my body is obviously telling me like slow down and i'm not listening honestly i feel like the issue is my diet i don't think i've been eating well and boy am i reaping the consequences i came back today to practice after not going one day and then missing two games so like right still proud of my team they took two dubs awesome so i went back to practice today and i was just kind of like okay let's let's do it and i've been feeling for the past couple of days a little like like that little voice in my head that's like really mean to me is slowly like starting to run its mouth a little bit too much right so i was just kind of like okay you know what let me just go back to practice who cares whatever i walk in and they're like oh my god hey like welcome back and honestly even though i know i shouldn't be shocked right i know i shouldn't be shocked but i was a little like because the stuff that my brain was telling me like the days that i wasn't there was like nobody likes you like no one fucking likes you like everyone's just pretending to like you no one cares about you all that type of stuff right even though like i know i got my homies on the team and i'd be vibing with my homies and i'm just kind of like dude like shut up like stop leave me alone right but whatever i went into practice started warming up and i was like okay like i'm ready the first time that i got sick like three weeks ago when I came back, the first day it was really heavy on me because I was like out of breath and I was just like, Ugh, right? I was panting, I was just dying. Today, I went in and I was fine. I'm telling you, like I got sick, but like, I'm fine. So anyway, I was fine during warmups. Everything was cool, right? And then we started doing like serving and passing. That's one of our first drills where we just have people serving on one side and then we've got the passers on the other, right? And so I started serving, my passes were okay. And I was like, okay. We're, we're big chilling that we're good but then we started getting into like queens and i usually get kind of like anxious during queens or just any time that i have to hit back row specifically too because even though i absolutely love hitting and like my dream is always to like be an outside and like hit or whatever like just attack i'm also very insecure about my attacks because i have not nailed the timing and the distance and everything and i tend to either swing it into the net when i like i'm trying to give myself a space I swing into the net or I just like blast that shit into outer space because like I just have not nailed the timing yet right and so for the past couple of days I've been a little hard on myself because I'm like bro like I went from playing like um, front row to just back row like I'm a DS now instead of like actually playing the position that I wanted to play but I'm just kind of like you know what like that doesn't matter I'm just gonna whatever position I'm in wherever I'm at I'm gonna just go 100% I'm gonna do it and the last game that I played I like snuck on the front row and I got a kill and I was so happy about it because when I actually got to play front row I hit out two times and then I got subbed out and I was like so when I got that hit and I actually got the kill during the game I was like I need that like faith restored right but I'm used to being more of like a DS and more back row than actually front row so today when we were doing queens and I got set the way we do it is that when we play queens is that if we get a tip a roll shot or a free ball over the net like if we receive one of those we get to attack on the net right so we started playing and I got set a D absolutely fucked it up like absolutely just just cost tick. like I think I missed the ball I don't know what I did oh I remember exactly what I did I jumped too soon <laughs> I literally remember jumping and the ball just going Ooh, and I was like <laughs> I got a little too excited that's like the thing that I have to do I gotta wait a little bit more oh my god am I red I feel like I look red it's because it's fucking hot I know it's fucking hot as shit all right you know what I'm red it's hot I turned the air off because I want to film whatever y'all are just gonna deal with me looking like a tomato okay that's fine so I got set that I just absolutely missed it because I was way too excited and I jumped too early and I just whoop right as so I was gonna like gotta wait a little more so I was like you know what whatever like if why am I jumping like if I missed while jumping that's fine next time I get set I'm gonna stay on the ground I'm gonna stay my ass planted on the floor whatever if I miss with an approach 
that's cool. I'll just stay on the floor. I'll downball the next one, right? If it doesn't work, let me just change it up. But another thing is that whenever we're playing and we're hitting from back row, even though they tell me be an option, because I have that insecurity, because I know I'm not consistent, because like I still got to like work out some kinks when my back row attacks, I know I'm not consistent, which makes me not want to be an option. It makes me not call it because I'm like, why would I call it when I'm obviously not an option? Like I, I don't have the confidence in myself to call it because I'm like, that way I got like what's the point but the problem with that is that I think I'm not an option so then when I get made into an option by my setter I'm not psychologically there right like I'm not there and there's a doubt and then that doubt makes me miss and then it's just kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy of like I don't feel like I'm an option because I'm not hitting it properly so I take myself out of the play I'm dragged back into the play because I should be an option but I'm not ready because I didn't think I was an option. it's like this whole thing where it's just like right even though i know i can do it like if i time it properly i can hit from anywhere if i time it properly and if i actually execute it like i know i can do it i'm just not consistent right so when i was made an option again i stayed on the floor i downballed it it was a pretty good down ball it was whatever you know and i was like boom perfect you stayed on the floor it worked next one if you want jump like go for it whatever right but there was like a little voice in my head telling me you fucking suck and i was like i was like bitch like but did I keep, like who asked for you right like whatever and so we kept playing then I got set a front row hit and I blasted it like out like it was just it was it was way too long it wasn't like straight up into the stratosphere right it was just like here's the line right here's the line it was like Phew. so it was way too much and I was like god damn it at least it wasn't into the net but I was just like <laughs> <laughs> like oh my god I can't like why am I not attacking properly like this is just like a because anytime I play everywhere else I love attacking I'm always posted up on the net and like I just I love attacking so the fact that I got set and then I hit out I was like this is my opportunity bro like what the f and so I was kind of like you know what I forgot to snap let me let me snap they actually like poke fun at me in um Revco because they call it the Leslie snap because I've been going like this so much every time I hit it's just right so i was like i just gotta like snap it i gotta snap my wrist if i'm right at the, if i'm attacking from the front and i'm tight i can just right like send it down so the that was going on with like my hitting i was like my hitting not it whatever so i decided you know what let me just lock in with my serves i saw this video on instagram a couple of days ago where they were talking about like serve and how you want to really focus on tort like you really want to make sure that your hips are doing the work right and so something that i've been implementing every once in a while but now like really because it was really successful today is something that i call lazy arm where basically my arm does nothing my arm just swings and follows through but everything comes from my hips so something i was doing today because of the video that i saw was i was crossing my hips like i was swinging my hips forward but when i finished i wasn't finishing cross body it was forward and it was very successful i wish i can just like do this during the games because it would be so much more effective i got so many aces during queens today and i was like you know what like if this is a thing that i'm gonna be successful at today like let's freaking go if it's not hitting that's fine i'll be lethal in the back line the thing is that i now need to like transfer that over to games so i gotta like i know it's all here like i get a little anxious during the games because i'm like i just want to keep it in play right but if i were to just like balls to the wall and just serve the way that i did today during the games oh my god i feel like it would be so much better because my serves are actually pretty good today so right i was trying to focus on like you know what if my hitting isn't it that's fine let me just like really lock in with my serves and so i was doing that and i was just kind of like yeah let's go then i got set a little tight because we were we were attacking front row because we got a roll tip or free right and so they sent me front row and i actually finally got like a hit that i really liked and i was like yes i needed this because i felt like shit about my hitting so this is ooh, yes girl and so when i felt after that hit i was like yeah but that was like a one type thing like that's not gonna happen that often like you never play front row right and i was like why is my brain doing this to me like leave me alone bro like what is happening and then i realized i forgot i have depression i'm having a bit of like a depressive episode right now but the difference is that i know how to catch it and be like bro 
slow down like run it back because every single time i heard one of those comments for myself where it was like oh you suck at attacking you do this like blah 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 i felt like my brain did a really good job at being like okay so if this didn't work let's try this other thing all right if we're not successful with this let's do something else all right if right now this isn't super like effective let's lock in in this other thing you know so i feel like there's a part of my brain that's really able to recognize like you know what if this isn't working let's adapt let's find something else to do whatever but then there's also that part of my brain that's just trying to like drag me down right and i feel like that's where i'm at right now right now i'm kind of just like like i just i don't know i feel a little dead i feel a little insecure i feel kind of useless but that's right now right like that's just how i'm feeling in this moment i know it's gonna pass and i'm trying my gosh darn best to not let that get to me but it's kind of hard it's it's definitely kind of hard sometimes even though like i can be the only one thinking it and i really don't know what anyone else is thinking but sometimes it just kind of feels like no matter what i do i just i can't succeed for some reason and like a couple of weeks ago too i felt like dude why am i getting worse <laughs> and i don't know i feel like what happens is just that whenever I get in that mindset it's so easy for me to just lock into the things that I do wrong and just completely discard the things that I succeed in right like I can miss one serve and I can get a whole bunch of aces I can get a whole bunch of serves where like it sends the other team into a scramble whatever but I'll focus just on the miss serves I'll focus just on the missed contacts I'll focus just on the ones that I've screwed up on or the ones that I wasn't super successful with as opposed to really balancing out and be like okay so this worked this didn't really work that well I don't know I feel like right now what I'm trying to do is that right now that I kind of feel like trash I'm trying my best to just learn how to really deal with that and not let it totally shut me down right and even though I know I'm not playing how I want to play, how I know I'm capable of playing, I think what I just have to do is I just have to give it my all whenever I'm given the opportunity to play. Wherever I'm put, whatever I do, I just have to really like give it my all no matter what. I feel like one of the main reasons why I'm able to actually think this way now as opposed to before is that now I don't believe that negative voice in my head right now i see it as what it is it's just my depression it's just my anxiety it's my insecurity i know it's not me it's just a little like facet of me but it's not 100 percent me and also i feel like just because like i've played better than this i know what i'm capable of when i'm actually successful so I'm also able to be like, you know what, right now we're playing here. I know you can play here and that's okay. Like we'll just work our way to that spot. That's okay. Something that I really want to work on is getting into character way faster. Because sometimes when I play volleyball, I feel like I'm playing a character. And it's not that it's not me, it is. But the thing is that it takes a minute for me to really like believe it. And what do I mean by believe it? I mean not afraid of getting hit at i'm not afraid of getting served at and i'm not afraid of getting set that's something that i really need to believe every single time i know what that feels like it's hard to get into character though because sometimes there's like that little bit of doubt and even just the slightest non-belief takes me completely out of the scene it takes me completely out of the moment so i want to get a little bit better at that and tomorrow something i'm going to try doing in practice is that i'm going to go in completely 100 percent committed like i'm just going to tell myself every single time i'm going to get set every single ball is going to me and i'm going to be successful whether or not there's an error it's bound to fucking happen it's bound to happen the best hit hit out the best hitters get blocked the best passers shank the best libero gets aced it happens but the thing is i cannot go into the play thinking that that's going to be the outcome i cannot i have to go into every single fucking play believing 100 percent that i'm going to be successful every single time i do not have room to think about what might go wrong I have to just go in it and I need to believe that. So now I feel like I really just need to take that leap of faith and trust 100% that I'm capable of doing it. Because I know I can do it. I know I can play so much better than I play right now. I know that if I commit, I know that if I get out of my goddamn head, 
I'll be able to play some really fun fucking volleyball. I cannot be scared of failure because you know what? It's gonna happen. Today's a different day and while I was practicing, I had really bad brain fog because I was very fatigued. But the thing is, I still felt that doubt and it was so frustrating because I felt the brain fog, my body felt heavy and I was feeling doubtful. Oh my God, why was I even playing dude at that point? Like. There was some parts of me that could actually like let go of that fatigue and I was still trying to go for it, but it was frustrating. And it just makes me think like, God damn, what I wouldn't give right now to have my body at 100%, what I wouldn't give to play with my brain at 100%. No brain fog, no fatigue, no nothing. And I was like, but then when I'm playing like that, I have the audacity to waste that energy by doubting myself, bro. I want to go into practice tomorrow 100% fucking committed to the character. 100% committed to the bit. 100% committed to I'm going to get every single fucking ball. I'm going to be ready for every single fucking ball. I'm going to attack so much more. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do like I want to be on. That's what I want to do tomorrow. So I'm going to be crazy delusional. I don't care. I'm going to be delulu until it becomes true lulu. And that goes for every single thing. Hitting, passing, back row attack, serving blocking everything it's like when i'm playing minecraft like whatever's going on in there i believe it to an extent but i know that in the end i can log off and it's whatever's you know so like if i were to die in there i don't die out here you know and that's what i'm trying to make sure i do on the court like if stuff goes sideways on the court if it's just not it and i'm like dying there i know that the moment like i'm off the court i reset whatever it's not the end of the world it's fine we got another game respawn thank you next respawn collect my items back to whatever i'm doing and so that's really what i'm trying to focus on right now and i'm really happy because i feel like when i was in high school this would have just been so detrimental like the moment that i was taken out of like front row or the moment that i was taken out of whatever position that i wanted to play where i was like oh man like, i'm not successful i think i would have focus more on the I'm not successful as opposed to oh my god they're putting me as a DS because they think I do good in back row you know just reframing how I see things and yeah I don't know it's exciting I'm just I'm really happy that I'm not drowning right because that used to be my default I used to just be like oh no water take me I guess yeah let me know if you play volleyball you're in season I know seasons have started for all y'all who are in grade school so Leave a comment down below if you are in season, if you've played before, how you deal with the shitty days, the shitty practices, whatever. Also, another thing I did was every time I like messed up or whatever, I really tried my best to just be like, okay, that was that play. Because something I used to do is I would just say, okay, you know what? I'm just doing really bad in this drill specifically, but I feel like I've done a better job at like isolating it from I'm doing bad in this drill to I'm just doing bad in this one play, right? So instead of it's a bad practice, thank you next. To, it's a bad drill, thank you next. To, it was just a bad play, thank you next. And it takes time, it's gradual, right? I've been working on this for uh, since January, so eight months. And just now in indoor for like two, three months. So it's very new and honestly i think it's working i'm actually really happy with how i'm able to process this stuff and who knows maybe i get hit with an even harder roadblock in the future but i'm chilling i think i'll be able to deal with it and if something happens i'll share it with y'all so y'all see what it's like or whatever <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching here's some other videos you guys can check out if you're feeling like it see you if and when you should see me back bye bye